sometimes year two, sometimes even younger than, than year one. And uh, it's to make some playground equipment. Um, I have some photocopied sheets of the two characters that we're going to try and cheer up. They're called Flip and Flop. And we're going to make some uh, equipment for them to play on in their park. Uh, we'll start off by making a swing. I've got a base here. Um, these days I now stick this down onto a piece of cardboard just to make it um, a bit more robust, especially when they're, when they're carrying it home. It stops them from um, uh, uh, screwing it up, basically. Um, we need some sticky tape. Yeah. and a piece there and to make the frame for the swing we're going to use uh, bendy straws plastic bendy straws and we pull pull out the bendy part of the straw and bend all the ends over for the swing we're going to use the whole straw and it's the bendy part that has to be stuck down onto these four marks here and uh, it has to be the right way round. It goes that way round, not that way round. And uh, I have to keep a close eye on the children when they're doing this because inevitably some of them stick them on the wrong way round. So there we go, that one's there. And then the one opposite faces that way. A piece of sticky tape. Just using sticky tape is a motor skill all in itself. There we go. And now we do the same the other side. Some more sticky tape. That one goes, let's check, yep, there we go, it goes that way round. Stick that one on. And finally stick the last bendy straw on. Okay, there we are. And we're now going to link these two pairs of straws together, we're going to join these two together and these two together using um, a piece of pipe cleaner. I cut these up into small pieces just for fun. I've got a silly name for them, I call them caterpillars. And we bend the caterpillar into a letter V and we use that to join the two bendy straws together at the top. And we formed a, a triangle shape and um, I emphasise when I'm working with the children that a triangle is a strong shape. If you're going to make a structure, try and build in some triangle shapes. And the same the other side, another piece of pipe cleaner and join those two together. And there we are. Um, we now need to add a piece to go across the top to stop them uh, waggling that way. So we need another piece of bendy straw. We're not going to use the bendy part. Uh, we need to cut it a piece about that big. That looks about right. And to link that, we need two more caterpillars. This time we're going to bend it into an L shape. And there's just room to slide that down next to the caterpillar that's already there. And now we can use that to link across. So we've now got a surprisingly strong shape to hang our swing from. To make the swing swing, we're going to use another kind of straw called a jumbo straw. Now conveniently, um, bendy straws fit inside jumbo straws. So we need to cut a piece a little bit shorter than the piece that goes across the top. Temporarily pull one end out, slide it on and push it back in again. And now we've got a nice moving section to hang the swing from. Um, to make the swing, we need uh, two longer caterpillars, bend them into a hook, like that, hook it over and then very gently push it together, but try not to squash the straw, make sure that the, the jumbo straw can still turn. Do the same for the other one, bend it into a hook shape, hook it on and then just very gently close the hook and check that it still swings. To make the seat we need um, two, two more uh, pieces of straw. This time this is art straw, paper art straw. And we're going to slide these on. 